South Korea's three main political blocs are addressing lawmakers at the National Assembly this week. Today was the minor opposition Paranmir Party's turn. While its floor leader criticized the government's economic policies, it welcomed efforts to ratify April's inter-Korean summit declaration. Kim Mo-kyun has the latest from Parliament. During its first speech, representing the parliament's third largest negotiating bloc, Paranmire Party floor leader Kim Kwan-young expressed his party's support for the ratification of the Panmunjom Declaration. But he also echoed the main opposition party's concerns on North Korea's actual implementation of the denuclearization process and proposed that a parliamentary resolution be adopted first. I hope that the resolution can show the world South Korea's strong will towards the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula and on maintaining the ironclad alliance with the United States. Once the resolution is adopted, he spoke of hopes for the ruling and opposition parties to discuss the ratification process in earnest. On the nation's sluggish economy, Kim criticized the Moon administration's financial policies, especially on income-led growth and the minimum wage hike, calling them reckless measures that don't reflect the current economic conditions. I strongly urge President Moon Jae-in to face the reality of this economy and wake up from his illusions on income-led growth. He said the government should instead focus on economic democracy that could foster fair economic growth, not only from large conglomerates but also among small firms and venture enterprises. As part of such efforts, the floor leader stressed the need for regulatory reform, urging the ruling and main opposition parties to pass pending bills on deregulation as early as next week. The floor leader also highlighted the need for constitutional reform and said it should be realized before the end of this year. He said that the Blue House, the government and the ruling party should swiftly provide a clear and responsible answer to this issue for a fair and brighter future of the nation. Kim Mo-kyun, Arirang News.